The Buzz with Jess Lujan. We're back and we're talking about the apprenticeship program, the registered apprenticeship program under direction, of course, of the Department of Labor with uh, Phyllis Tabasna <laughs> and, uh, and Lena Hammond uh, here. Again, good evening, ladies, and thank you again for taking time out of your busy schedule to, to join me uh, this evening on The Buzz. So apprenticeships, again, you know, you were talking about construction, but you said there are other, they're, they're just not the construction trade we're, 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 we're talking about here. And earlier you mentioned about these folks getting to entry level, and Greg Massey in our, our first segment said in regards to people coming in the foreign, the, the, these, these are coming into specialty areas, not necessarily the, the, the areas that you mentioned, because you have the local workforce to fulfill their requirement for, for those entities, it's these other, other areas. So what other apprenticeship entities out there do we do we do we have do we have those in telecommunications and, and all that as well i mean yeah well you know yeah we, we have telecommunications mm -hmm. we have docomo it mm -hmm. and e mm -hmm. and we have gta telecom mm -hmm. um, they have a robust training programs mm -hmm. apprenticeship programs in their areas we have the guam shipyard mm -hmm. uh, i'm sorry cavers marine cavers marine yeah exactly. they, they, they were forming yeah. the guam shipyard yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, taking over the shipyard mm -hmm. uh, repair mm -hmm. uh, and we also have uh, interest from Allied Health, mm -hmm. uh, certified nursing assistant mm -hmm. programs mm -hmm. and what have you. Uh, registered apprenticeship is often touted as the other degree program. Mm -hmm. um, and you know, uh, when, when you send a child or a, uh, an individual to, sorry, to college, mm -hmm. um, they would have to go through the four years, at mm -hmm. least for the baccalaureate degree. Sure, sure. Go four years, and then when they graduate from college, they probably get into an internship. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And you know, get introduced to the world of work. As an apprentice, the individual is introduced to the world of work from day one. Mm -hmm. They start earning wages as soon as they, they get into the apprenticeship program. And then the, the apprenticeship program on the job training mm -hmm. is against, as we mentioned er earlier, solidified with mm -hmm. the uh, related training instruction. Mm -hmm. And all the while that the apprentice is in the program, mm -hmm. um, as long as they, they uh, perform satisfactorily mm -hmm. and you know start gaining those skills mm -hmm, mm -hmm. they get incremental wages mm -hmm. so by the time they graduate from the program mm -hmm. they are at what we call the journeyman level sure, sure. with the certificate mm -hmm. that Lena talked about earlier um, and could be making anywhere from mm -hmm. 40 to 50 thousand dollars sure uh, starting pay sure, here sure. while mm -hmm. the graduate that started out on the same program mm -hmm, with mm -hmm, them mm -hmm. is probably at a lower level mm -hmm. not to say that yeah. that you know the uh, college credits mm -hmm. are uh, uh, is, is below the apprenticeship program. We know mm -hmm. that we need the professionals that sure, come sure. out of, of the degree. But, but program. you know, when when I, I, you're, you're talking, this this brings me to, to to thinking. When kids get into college, a lot of times they get in, they're, they're liberal arts majors because they don't know what the hell they're gonna they're gonna get into. They're liberal arts majors. Okay, what are you gonna do with liberal arts? We don't know yet. We don't know yet. But this is a great program for for folks who who won't know. But if they, they get into the world of work, they're, they're, maybe they go down this line of an apprenticeship, they may know maybe what they don't want to get into or maybe right. have a field of choice that they may want to get into. It's, it's better directed that way because mm -hmm. education is very important. <coughs> but if you're in the world of work, that can maybe an aspect of, of, of this business, you know, maybe you don't want to do accounting, but, but you want to do something else. Maybe you're more of the HR person, but until you get there, Imagine, imagine getting a degree in that and going, oh man, I don't like this. But if you get the feel of that, and you say, hey, I can better myself, you know, I want to make what he or she is making and do that. So this is a great match for, for people who want to, I think, uh, uh, who, who want to go to college as well, who have to, who have to work themselves through, work them, their, their way through college, yeah? Right, and yeah. Um, the great thing about the registered apprenticeship mm -hmm. program on both the employer and the employee mm -hmm. part goes back to kind of like what you're talking about is there's this uh, probationary period. Mm -hmm. So they'll start working and learning mm -hmm. the work process and going to school. And during that time, if they decide, you know, this is not the avenue that mm -hmm, I want to mm -hmm. go into, they can part ways. Sure, sure. Um, also, you brought up something about accounting. There mm -hmm. are accounting tech registered sure, apprenticeship sure. programs mm -hmm. that can then lead mm -hmm. somebody into mm -hmm. a more, mm -hmm. um, uh, in-depth career mm -hmm. in, in accounting. Mm -hmm. No, no, I, I think it's just a, it's a, it's a <coughs> great match for people, again, just getting out and, and, and of course, 
want to go to college, absolutely. You, you don't dissuade them from, from doing that, mm -hmm. but don't know what field to get into, but they have an idea. I, I want to get into that, and so if there's an apprenticeship program in that field, maybe it's not exactly what they go into, but get a taste of it. And, and, and maybe it's something they never never dreamt of to, to, to do, but give them more of, of, of a taste, as you, you said. You know, when they graduate from college anyway, they're going to have to in, do an internship program anyway. Right. So they're going to do it in the back end. This one, you're doing it in the front end, mm -hmm. right. you know? Right. And, and then you're, you're more likely to, to, again, be more successful down the road, down this way, and, and, and enter a career path that, that you know something about, as opposed to just the, know the academics and support as opposed to the actual work, work site, right? And the beautiful, th and then mm -hmm. another great thing is that you're taking classes for the field. For that field, yeah. Not yeah. taking, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. a random English class here sure, or sure. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. anything, any electives. Sure, You know, sure. you're working, you're doing the coursework as you're learning mm -hmm. the work process. And you can better tailor your, your course of study based on the field going in. I mean, of course, the required courses, but you can t best tailor once you, once you have a better idea and what you want to get into. Right, and on yeah. the employer side, if they want to um, <coughs> add a little more specialization mm -hmm, in the related mm -hmm, training mm -hmm. instruction, mm -hmm. maybe they're an architect and uh, mm -hmm. they need a little more of mm -hmm. the design process, yeah. they, can, uh, they can add that to mm -hmm. their mm -hmm. related training instruction. No, no I, I know, um, Phyllis, I know you, you said you guys were working with, I think, J.P. Torres, right? But I, I think I, I'm just creating more job for you guys. Remember, a need for, for more of you guys here is, uh, I mean, maybe more schools yeah. should, should be involved with this as well. You know, because when, when people go into their guidance counselors, they go in, they're the ones that kind of help them, you know, their career path, right? Yeah. But if they're, you know, they're bureaucrats as well, they're, they're strictly in the book here. You know, you, you guys are out there in the field talking to different, different folks. I mean, I mean, God bless the, the guidance counselors, but they, if, if, they, if they really haven't been out there and can only preach to me, but if I've never, you know, I've never been out there to sweating, and you guys know that, uh, wouldn't it be also a, a great marriage to do that to the other schools as well? I mean, knowing, knowing what our short, shortfalls are, and we know it, you know, because the federal government is already telling us, hey, look, you're abusing this program. So knowing that, it's probably not going to get any better, probably not in the next four years anyway, right? Right. <laughs> Well, you know, and, and so we recognize that we do need to go into what we call the pre-apprenticeship program, mm -hmm. bring it into the high school levels. Yeah. Um, JP Torres just happened to be the first mm -hmm, school mm -hmm, that we looked mm -hmm. at, but we're already looking at uh, touching base with the other schools and looking at not just uh, construction, but perhaps hospitality, because mm -hmm, uh, mm -hmm. we know there's a, a program that... Uh, deals with culinary arts. Sure, sure. And we have someone already from Simon Sanchez that's saying, mm -hmm. you know, we really would like to get involved with that, mm -hmm. uh, with the kids up at the Simon Sanchez School. Mm -hmm. So um, the need is there mm -hmm. for, mm -hmm. for pre-apprenticeship and we just need to, to uh, move forward with that. There's a lot of coordination because it's not just sending the kids to, to classes. It's also working with the employers that are wanting mm -hmm, mm -hmm. to, you know, serve as a sure, training ground sure, for, sure. for uh, our future workforce. Real quick, I don't have that much time, but real quick, the tax credits. Yes. Just real quick, in, in a nutshell, what is that? Tax credits are uh, uh, credits that an employer who uh, hires apprentices can take towards their GRT. Mm, okay. And uh, they can take 50% of what they spend on training an apprentice. So you're talking apprentice wages and journeyman who mentors these uh, apprentices mm -hmm. wages uh, and perhaps personal protective equipment and maybe in-house training mm -hmm. that, sure, sure. that the company has to pay for and get a tax credit, like I said, of 50%. And if they need more information on that, they can contact either Lena or myself at the American Job Center mm -hmm. and uh, we'll help we them go. as it they become, It forward. becomes a win-win situation. I got to take a quick break. We'll be right back.